I'm Matthew Gross, and beside me is a 2024 Porsche GT4 RS with a 4.0 flat six that revs all the way to 9,000 RPM. This GT4 RS was optioned with the Visoc package, giving you the carbon fiber hood, mirrors, side intake, and spoiler, all in carbon. Here on the back side of the Porsche, we have the titanium exhaust tips, the GT4 RS badging with the beautiful ducktail complementing the swan neck, providing exceptional amount of downforce. Let's go ahead and check inside the engine compartment. In the engine compartment with the GT4 RS Visoc package, it does come in carbon fiber engine plates. Notable, you can see the two intakes carbon fiber from inside the car. Here on the front end of the GT4 RS, the front splitter is plastic, which is very nice. If you were to happen to slide off the track and damage it, uh, it won't break the bank. Now coming up to the front, the Porsche Crest is a decal to help reduce uh, drag. Now it does have the twin NACA ducts uh, right here in the front that will allow air to go to the rotors to keep those nice and cool. Now that we have the hood up, you can see the bottom side of the NACA duct does have a hole through the hood makes a transition to the fender well that allows the cold air to go through to cool those rotors. You could also see how large this front trunk area is. You can definitely fit all your groceries because that's important in a GT4 RS. Here on the front fender of the GT4 RS, you have this awesome cutout that they did. This will help with the aerodynamics and definitely for a cool factor. The front louvers in the front will help relieve pressure for the up force. Moving over here to the back, there's this huge carbon fiber scoop here will allow air to come in to cool these giant rotors in the back. Not to mention the intake in the top part here is also carbon fiber to allow air to go straight in to the engine. Inside the GT4 RS, I would like to note that I'm 6'2 and there's plenty of leg room inside here. Uh, plenty of headroom. Even if I had a helmet on, I could tell that I would have plenty of uh, room to move around here. This is the key for the Porsche. Actually, the front of it just goes inside here. It clips in and then you would... What I would like to note that these gauges are mechanical for the RPM and the speedometer. Speedometer goes to 200 miles an hour. RPM dead in the center, 9,000 RPMs. That's insane. To the far right, it is a digital gauge. The gas is digital, oil temperature, pressure, outside temperature, all digital. The steering wheel has the paddle shifting. We're not completely sure if only the GT3 makes the clicking noise. There is a, 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 a click, but it's not the tap, tap, tap that I think you would hear in the GT3. If you guys know more about that, please let me know. Also, the shifter over here is also manual. You can go up and down with your shifts. One last thing we like to add, the owner will be taking this on the track eventually. We will have plenty of footage of that. We cannot wait. Thank you for watching.